What's up everybody? Today we will be unboxing the brand new tact sleeve from B Haptics. It's a vibrating arm fandangle. Basically it vibrates in response to noises or things that are happening when you're playing games or listening to music, mainly for games. I got this for VR. This is the new version. There is an older version. This is called the tact sleeve. Singular. I hope there's two because if not I will be kicking myself. There's an older version which is called not tax leave, I can't remember. I wanted to get that originally years ago, but the reviews were not good. It was clunky, they would slide up and down your arm, they would make you sweat, and they were even more expensive. I think they were 260 or 280. This is the brand new one, it's streamlined, it looks a lot better, and I thought, well, if I'm gonna do something crazy like buy them, I might as well buy them now, they're brand new. And I've got a lot to say before I even open it. First of all, this comes from Korea. And I did not know that, I thought it came from the USA. It doesn't matter because I'm in Europe. Now, you want to buy this product, anything from B-Haptics, in your own country if you can. This was already a very expensive item. Uh, it was 200 euros or dollars, plus 17 shipping. And it takes quite some courage to pull the trigger on some vibrating bracelets that cost that amount. But when it got to my country, uh, I was also charged 90 euros in tax, in customs tax. So if you can buy this in your country, get it in your country. This is not currently available in any European shop, even though they have them on their website. It just says out of stock, pre-order. And when you contact anyone, they don't have a date. And I even asked B Haptics when it was coming out in Europe. And they said, oh, you know, some kind of future plans. So this is something that's very hard to get anywhere. Probably you have to buy it from their own website. So when it costs 200, it may end up costing you 300 with tax. And that is a lot to spend on a vibrating arm fan dangle. But let's open it and see what we think. So here we go. Let's see what's in the package. I do have the b -Hap 6 vest and I love it. It's if people ask whether it's worth the money, it's hard to say because it's obviously not a cheap product, but it does enhance the experience of games that I love. So I'm not gonna regret that purchase. Okay, that's good. Cause I thought that was broken. As you can see, I'm not very good at opening things. That's why I don't generally do these videos. Tack sleeve. This, if you ask me, should be plural, tax levers, because I was a little bit concerned there'd only be one. As you can see, there are two. Two tax leaves crammed into this tiny box. It's already bigger than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest. Quality looks pretty good. That is quite a large lump, but obviously, so these, oh, it's got some so the original ones that you can still buy were famous for, well, famous for a lot of the reviews were pretty bad because they'd slide up and down your arms. But I think they've added these and streamlined it so that doesn't happen anymore. We've got two of these, so they are tax sleeves. So maybe they should change the name on their website to tax sleeves, not tax sleeve. I guess you could just leave that closed to make it easy to close. Yep, I've just made that confusing. Huh, I kind of hope that this would go all the way around my arm, not just on one part of it. To be honest with you, what's going on here? Oh, there, okay, there are... Hmm, not the best first impressions. Okay, so there's one buzzer here, one buzzer here, one buzzer here, three. I'm gonna have to check that on the website, but as far as I can see, there's one, two, oh, it goes straight on, that's pretty cool. Easy to turn on, and these go on with Bluetooth. Um, all bits of hair in there. Oh, it must be off these wrinkles. Okay. So you've got three haptic points here around your arm. I guess you have to like practice different ways of putting them on to see what's best for you. I imagine this has to be on the outside. And anyway, so this is supposed to reproduce the noises you have, or the feelings of when you're using a gun. What else we got here? Instruction manuals, the haptic sticker, and two pretty hefty charger cables. Turn it on, let's see what happens. Okay, 
So I guess it is a sensitive part of your body. There's no way that's sliding up and down, and I do like that. I think I'm just gonna have to uh, get used to them. Using oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you really can feel it here, right? So there was a lot of rambling going on there, but this is what it looks like. I guess I'm gonna have to find the perfect point on my arm. The turtle's gonna be vibrating, it does feel pretty cool. This is a sensitive part of your body, so you know, I think it could be pretty good to use it with guns in games. That's what I'm hoping, or any swords, you know, get that extra bit of vibration. Is it worth the money? Well, I'll be using it with games, so subscribe to me and I will give you some more updates on whether these are worth it or not. First, first opinion, the initial opinion was quite disappointed because I thought there'd be more vibrators on them and it would go all the way around your arm. However, when you turn them on and off, you do get a little bit of a, a haptic feedback there and it do, that does feel really cool. So I'm excited to try them. Uh, haven't decided yet. Come join me in the next video where I'll be trying them with games. Cheerio!